hi guys welcome back to my channel Ashley here so y'all know why we're here okay so you already know Fenty Beauty I feel like Fenty has been dropping some serious heat this year like I just want to shout out to Riri thank you for putting in that work and getting us what we need the girls are here for it we are going to be diving into the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream. So Fenty launched five new cream lip glosses. We love a gloss. I'm going to dive into some facts about these glosses. So it's basically the gloss that we've loved. It's supposed to be pure with creamy color and incredible shine um, that leaves the lips looking smoother and more voluminous, which we love. Uh, obviously it's a gloss uh, it's supposed to be free of parabens it's gluten free cruelty free all that good stuff and as it's described is it's supposed to be a feel good look good lip gloss that comes in medium to full coverage color and zero shimmer now I love me an opaque gloss I do love a little shimmer but sometimes I just want to add a little extra color without any shimmer and sometimes I just like to wear a liner and gloss so this is really the type of gloss that I'd be looking for so it's um, buildable with full intensity pigment and brilliant shine um, it has an extra extra large wand that applies in just one swipe with a non sticky feel that's also another thing I hate a sticky gloss like don't get me wrong I love me I'm originally a Mac girl at heart okay you know worked for them everything but sometimes I feel like the glosses make my lips peel and NARS too NARS glosses make my lips peel as well but I don't feel like that when it comes to NYX butter glosses or Fenty Beauty glosses so um, it has an addictive peach vanilla scent plus vitamin A to nourish our lips. So I think with all those stats, it really sounds like they put a lot of time and effort into these glosses. Alrighty, so we can dive in. So I'm going to go in with number one, Moth Wives. Now, I loved Moth Wives when they came out. I actually met Drita. I'll try to insert a picture, but don't judge me, okay? Because that was when I had my pencil brow situation and my friends were really my friends because they should have told me that I needed brows. But they didn't. So this is what the packaging looks like. Okay. Peachy vanilla sure but it smells sweet so let's just go in and swatch okay so that's really one swipe so this is more of wives I'm going to go in with an extra layer just so you guys can really see the color payoff Plus, it was the first swipe out, so I don't expect a lot of product to be on the brush, but I really love the doe foot applicator because I really feel like it gives you good coverage for your lips, and that's super important. So this is more of Wives. Next up we have Fenty Glow. So this is supposed to be like the original uh, gloss balm except this one does not have shimmer. So again, it's opaque. I really like the color. I know this is going to give me like some balm nude lips. Uh, yes, this is like that perfect pinky nude. So it's a little bit more pink than the Mauve Wives. Mauve Wives most has like a more cool pink undertone versus Fenty Glow, which is this one. But this is stunning. I love this with like a good liner or just to pop on and head out. I think this is a bomb nude. So this is Fenty Glow. Next up we have Honey Waffles. Now, I was super excited about this color. Oh, this is so pretty. I like I can't wait to swatch this. 
this was one of the ones that I definitely for sure wanted. Oh yeah, this is going to go perfect on top of some of my nudes. So this is Honey Waffles. Even though these are glosses, I really feel like you can just wear these with liners. They look so bomb. And I'm like I said, I'm obsessed with the fact that they're opaque. I think Fenty Beauty really made a good move when they decided to make like these opaque glosses. So this is Honey Waffles. Ooh, next up we have Cookie Jar. I like these food and snack names. So this is Cookie Jar, love this. So I really feel like Honey Waffles and Cookie Jar are going to go great on top of my Marc Jacobs Beauty lipsticks, Jador and Mahogany. Um, those are definitely like top two nude lipsticks from Marc Jacobs that I would say are for women of color. They're bomb. So let's see Cookie Jar in action. Ooh. I like this. These are stunning. This is just one swipe, so I'm going to go back in for a second one. Hmm. I really like this. This is giving me grown, sexy, and sophisticated. Yes. Again, this is it by itself. Like, I really can't believe the color payoff from these glosses. Like, you guys have no idea. And lastly, fruit snacks. This color is more like a reddish burgundy. I really don't wear these colored lips. I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, it just doesn't suit me. But you know, maybe that could just be me. You know, I'm trying to venture out for new things for 2021. So who knows, maybe there'll be some lip colors like this in the near future. So fruit snacks. Ooh, I like this berry color. This will actually look nice on top of this Chanel lipstick that I have. It looks more like this. It's red, but it's like a, a deep burgundy. To be honest, this really just needs one swipe. But just like I swatched all of them a second time, I'm going to go in a second time with this one. Yes, okay. So this is fruit snacks. So those were all of the glosses. I'm actually gonna take this off and put on my favorite one. So this is Honey Waffles with Chestnut Liner by MAC. I felt like I was giving you guys 90s vibes, so that's why I went with a deeper liner and then just the color in the center. So this lip is bomb. Like I'm looking at my monitor. It's definitely gonna be a new lip for the 2021. And a quick mention, these glosses are $19 each. I picked up all five. Are they worth it? 100%. Um, depending on what lipsticks and what color combos you like, you can pick up all five or just the ones that you like specifically. Um, you know, I like all of them. I'm going to use all of them, of course. You know, I'm like a gloss and lipstick hoarder. I don't know if you guys have been watching my stories lately, but it was like insane. I had a whole drawer full of lippies that I really need to sort and organize but yes guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the family here if you're an OG thank you again for always tuning in and supporting and as usual guys until next time thanks for watching